Arthrocentesis, or joint aspiration, is an important diagnostic and therapeutic procedure for the emergency department. It may help differentiate the etiology of a joint effusion and may provide symptomatic relief or assist therapy by removing offending material from the joint space. Indications for arthrocentesis include any joint for which removal of joint fluid would enable you to diagnose a joint infection, inflammatory arthritis, acute fracture, or to relieve the pain of a large effusion. A similar approach may be used for injection of a local anesthetic or anti-inflammatory medication. Relative contraindications include disruption of the skin or the presence of a skin infection overlying the area where the needle would be placed, as this may increase the risk of introducing infection into the joint space. Presence of a coagulopathy is also a consideration as it may increase bleeding within the joint. The procedure should be performed with sterile technique. Equipment needed for the procedure includes clean gloves, gauze squares, chlorhexidine solution, sterile drape, local anesthetic, a 25 to 27 gauge needle with a 5 cc syringe for anesthetic injection, an 18 or 20 gauge needle with a large syringe to aspirate fluid, specimen or culture tubes, and ultrasound with sterile probe cover if real-time ultrasound visualization is planned. For illustration purposes, sterile drape and probe cover will be omitted. The joint space of the shoulder can be accessed through an anterior or posterior approach. Both will be demonstrated here. For the anterior approach, the patient should be placed in a sitting position facing the clinician. The joint should be thoroughly inspected for signs of infection prior to the procedure. Slightly externally rotate the humeral head. Palpate the shoulder to identify landmarks, locating the coracoid process and anterior humeral head. Ultrasound will help to visualize the humeral head and coracoid process and confirm the presence of an effusion in the joint space. It can also help determine which approach to use by locating the largest and most easily accessible fluid collection. A high frequency linear array transducer should be used. For the anterior approach, the target is between the medial humeral head and the coracoid process. Place the ultrasound probe in a transverse position between the humeral head and the coracoid process and confirm effusion. Prepare the aspiration site using sterile technique. Inject local anesthetic superficially, avoiding injection into the joint space. If infection is suspected, introduction of anesthetic may cause false negative culture results. Place the ultrasound probe to ensure the target area is visible. Place the needle lateral to the ultrasound probe and proceed medially so you will visualize your needle in plane. Direct the needle toward the effusion and visualize aspiration. Aspirate as much fluid as needed for diagnosis or symptomatic relief. Remove the needle and place a clean dressing. For the posterior approach, the patient should be placed in a sitting position with the elbow flexed and with the forearm resting at the side in a neutral position. Palpate the shoulder to identify the acromion at the lateral limit of the scapular spine. The transducer is placed in transverse orientation approximately 2 to 3 centimeters inferior and 1 to 2 centimeters medial to the bulge of the posterior acromion. Place the needle lateral to the ultrasound probe and direct medially towards the fluid collection so you will visualize the needle in plane. Your target is the groove between the medial humeral head and the glenoid rim. Direct the needle toward the effusion and visualize aspiration. Aspirate as much fluid as needed for diagnostic and symptomatic relief. Remove the needle and place a clean dressing. 